After six months of teasing, it is finally here. This is DJI's Ronin S. The S stands for hit. No, 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 no. The S stands for Superman. No, the S stands for single handheld gimbal. I am guessing I actually don't know that. But I do know this. It supports payloads up to 3.6 kilos, which is equal to almost two 15-inch MacBook Pros or 21 iPhone 10s or 7.6 American pints of beer or a newborn. shot and here it is the DJI Ronin S comes in this nicely designed box inside the box we're greeted with a case that is very similar to Phantom Force case and it is very useful when you need to throw the gimbal into your trunk and drive somewhere inside the case we're greeted with a 24 watt charging adapter camera mounting plate that also fitted my Manfrotto tripod a box filled with accessories like the tiny plate in case you want to remove the focus wheel USB to USB-C cable infrared and camera control cables camera riser which is very useful lens support alien wrenches screw for the plate lens support screw tripod mount screws velcro strap extended grip slash tripod the grip slash battery and the Ronin S itself. Assembling Ronin S is pretty easy and makes you feel like Bond. James Bond. Entire system feels very sturdy and it is very well built. DJI says the battery lasts for 12 hours and since it supports fast charging it can be charged in 2 hours and 15 minutes. It also can power your camera or your accessories. The focus wheel and the camera control cable doesn't work with all cameras. You have to check DJI's website to see the list. It keeps getting updated I'll put a link in the description box below. And since the handle can be removed, it can be mounted on other things. You can get the car mount and mount this on your car. Now before we sit down and talk about the features and the app, let's see what this monster can do. I know what you're thinking. What happens when we run, right? 
Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go and run. Should I run towards those skateboarders over there? Don't mind if I do. You may have noticed that we didn't have the Rocky test. That is because I'm going to be releasing another video where I'm going to compare Ronin S to Crane 2. And I think that is going to be very exciting. So look out for that video that's going to be coming out soon. Let's talk about features and the app. Needless to say, balancing your gimbal is extremely important. A badly balanced gimbal will never work properly. Let me know in the comment section below if you like me to show you how I balance my gimbal. Turn on the battery first and then with this button you turn the gimbal on and it is on. As soon as it's turned on, it's in the follow mode. And we have the trigger here. When you hold down the trigger, it is in the lock mode. <laughs> when you double click, it resets. And when you click it three times, it looks at you. We have the joystick here to move it around. You can define up to three settings. For example, in the first setting, if I hold it in the flashlight mode, I have the roll function instead of panning. In the second one, it moves at a reasonable speed. And on the third one, it moves slowly. Also, if you hold down the mode button, it starts moving with you as fast as it can. So if you're watching a tennis game, you can follow the tennis ball with this. And when you're done, you can use the smoothness of Ronin S. Also, as you can see, we have a record button here. You can use that to start and stop recording. Right now, to be able to use that button with your Sony cameras, you have to use the infrared cable and you have to turn on the remote control feature on your camera. Infrared connection is very annoying, so Sony, please work with DJI. We're all waiting for you. Also, when you hit the power button twice, it goes into standby mode, which is really good when you want to do something fast, like I want to take this off. Needless to say, this thing is heavy. And when I say heavy, for example, this setup weighs 2730 grams. So if you're gonna carry this around, bear that in mind. When you're not vlogging, when you're not in the vlogging situation, so you don't have to extend your arm like that, when you hold your arm like this, it doesn't feel that heavy. Actually, I was able to carry it around this entire time. I didn't need to take it apart and put it in the bag or something. The ergonomics of it is amazing. Has such a nice grip, especially this part that is coming out like that. Helps the gimbal sit in your hand a lot more. And if you want more, you can always use this. Then it's a samurai sword. And when you want to put it down, you just open the legs up and we put it down safely. It is insanely quiet even at very high speeds. There's actually one video on my Instagram where you hear the clock at the kitchen entrance, but you cannot hear the sound of the gimbal while it's turning at its maximum speed. Now let's go ahead and look at the app. We hit connect to Ronin and Ronin appears. On top left, we have the Bluetooth connection. Next to it, we have the settings of the gimbal. Right now it's set to handheld. We can set it to car mount and then our user profile is set. And when I change the user profile, watch this light here, for example, to user one, it changes on the gimbal as well. User three, let's set it to user two. And then we have more. 
where you can restore gimbal setup you can perform a balance test which is really nice it gives you a score oh i got excellent on tilt roll and pan very good also we have system calibration here and system calibration is completed when you tap on the battery you see the battery levels let's go into configuration in configuration you select your user you have your motor parameters you can hit auto tune which then it sounds like your upstairs neighbor is showering or something and then we have smooth track smooth track is how it tracks while it is in your hand speed and sensitivity to low and for example dead band to high then it's gonna require me to move more before it starts turning this is for pan you can set it for tilt or roll and if you like to adjust your gimbal with hand turn push it comes in many forms push pan push roll push tilt and in the create menu it is called push mode and if you want to know more you can hit the information button up there and it shows you more information about the settings in here and then we have control settings you have your pan settings tilt and roll and then we have channels and in the channels you can change for example on channel 3 instead of pan if i change this to roll so when i hold this in the flashlight mode i can roll it like this I'm going to set it back to a pan and you can of course change the joystick direction to reverse or normal you know we have status device shutter control is not connected i took the cable away and then we see the battery and then we have about and in the about we get information about the firmware the settings your dji login and the device list and now let's go into create because this is where the fun begins we have capture in the capture you control your gimbal with the app here you can do anything you want and if you just want to reset it you tap on the gimbal icon and hit recenter and it recenters and when you close it it goes back to that screen you have your speeds here that you can adjust right away which is really nice and we have smoothing which is something i love a lot so smoothing is how it's gonna speed up and slow down so let me set it to something high as you can see when I let it go it slows down let me put it to zero this is how it moves in zero these are very useful things when you need them and then we have panorama in panorama you define your uh, frame and then your focal length let's select 14 and then you select your uh, and then you select your overlap that which means 30% of the photos are gonna overlap and then delay is delay between photos let's say this is the first frame and then I look at the camera and I say yeah that's the first frame and uh, this is the last frame it's gonna show me the last frame and yeah I kind of like that and then I hit the shutter button and it starts taking photos okay let's recenter it and in the time lapse mode you can adjust your interval content duration and frame rate and then it gives you a total 300 photos and capture time 15 minutes and then you can hit this and adjust your camera once you're done you hit the shutter button and it just starts taking photos and then we have motion time lapse let's go into motion time lapse let's select point number one for this i want to adjust it with my hand let's say this is point number one and then let's tap on point number two it immediately goes to the number two point well let's say i want this to be the point number two it's going to go to point number one and it's going to start taking photos and then we have track whatever your point choose it's gonna point there and you can move the points around let's say i want this to be the first point this to be the second point and this the third point and of course i can adjust the duration between two points nine seconds from point eight to point one to point two you can actually hit play and see one two and three 
And when you hit record, you start recording a video doing this movement. And then you can have this gimbal do the same movement unless you change this wherever you go. I only wish we could have saved these movements in some files. I feel like I forgot to mention something in the control settings. The endpoints are fantastic. The endpoints defines where the gimbal is going to stop turning. So if your lens is too big and if you feel like it's going to hit the gimbal itself, you can set your end point so it doesn't hit. It stops somewhere. Let me show it to you. Let's go to pan and lift. I'm going to turn it to 45 and right to 55. Now when I push the stick, it just stops there. It doesn't go any further. Also because the backside of this gimbal is angled, I can see the screen. Also the gimbal gives me a little bit more angle if I just want to go down like that. When Ronin Ace was first announced, DJI said it was going to be less than $1,000 and they kept their promise. Ronin S is $699. I'm also very impressed that they waited to perfect Ronin S before releasing it. This is a very capable device for anyone who is interested in gimbals, from new beginners to professionals. This thing is so sturdy that I wonder if I feel like Thanos against Steve Rogers if I arm wrestle it. So maybe S stands for strong or smooth. I don't know. All I know is it lets me create these amazing looking shots. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Ronin S in the comment section below and until i see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and hosh hosh chakala you i just found myself a new profession and i'm gonna be opening a channel just for this it's the gimbal ventriloquist look watch this watch this you're gonna be blown away hey ronin look who's here Oh my god, they are here! Are they here to watch the review? Yes, they are here to watch the review. Oh, I'm so excited! I hope they cannot see your lips move. My lips are not moving. I'm doing this with the voiceover. No, you're not. You're doing it right now. It's really obvious. Okay, I'll see you <laughs> later.